How much confusion are you creating with your brand? Hey, Chris Zyker with Media Options. Help companies to acquire the raw version of their brand. Broken some of the best domain names on the planet. Check that out at MediaOptions.com. Check out ChrisZyker.com. I do a daily podcast over there. Uh, a lot of good information. Anyways, how much confusion are you, are you creating? I was looking at some startups that had just raised some capital uh, this morning. And one was on like a .io or .ai. And, and you know, one of the things I was looking at, well, I was looking at, well hey, who's on the .com, right? Um, I was reaching out to them on some domain names that were selling. And it was interesting because like, when I first look at the two companies, I mean, I don't know. I mean, they, they look very similar, very similar, very similar structure, very similar, you know, pattern as far as like how the layout is. And, you know, it's just confusing. Like, I don't know, okay, I'd have to really like stop and look, okay, well, what does this company do? What does this company do? What is the real difference, right? And I think that's, that's really my message for today is like, you know, there's a time and a place for that to happen, okay? There's time and a place for you to um, brand on, let's say, one of the other TLDs, brand on, um, you know, by adding maybe a descriptor to your domain, although it's, it's always best to get the raw version of your brand, okay? There's time and a place for it. Uh, I would say that time and place is like, make sure that whoever does own the raw version, it's completely different than what you do, okay? Um, and I know there's 45 different, different trademark classes. You're like, I got a trademark, you're not gonna get me. Listen, listen, I, you missed the point, okay? Um, I mean, like, just like night and day, night and day different as far as the product um, and uh, that it's different, okay? So maybe it's like car sales versus um, versus, uh, I wasn't gonna say insurance software, but you know, car sales versus um, uh, clothing, you know? I mean, something like that's just, or, or alcohol versus uh, real estate, okay? In the example of carrot uh, or fertility, right? Versus real estate, although the dot co is horrible in that, in that instance, but just make sure it's like, it's so different because what happens is that if you don't, there's just, there's just so much confusion, okay? I called it global positioning. And global positioning is, is like most branding agencies, they just don't get this, okay? They just don't get this, and, and I don't know why. I, I really don't. I mean, it, you should get it. I mean, if you don't, you should fire them because it's so fundamental to branding is like who owns the message? Who owns, who owns the, the momentum behind your brand, your brand? Like Kraken.com, Kraken Rum. Listen, Kraken Rum doesn't even own a fraction of the momentum behind Kraken. They don't. Okay, now there's Krakens in the news, other things, but like they don't, okay? Uh, Carrot.com versus Carrot.co. I mean, like the massive confusion that has been created. That confusion impacts your customer acquisition. It just does, it does. Like I've talked to, I talked to the best marketers in the world, okay? And side note, I mean, one of the, one of my objectives in starting a conversation is not to like push this domain name down your throat, okay? It's simply to have a discussion on what is the true ROI for your brand? Because most of the time, most marketers, most companies, most CEOs, right? Most of the leadership team, listen, they don't even want to, um, they don't, they just wanna heck off feelings. Like, well, I, it's worth 75,000. Like, really? Like, owning the raw version of your brand and creating a simplistic and effortless path for your customers online, which is, your path today and keeping a competition out, boxing a competition out, is only worth that, really? Eh, it's not. I mean, you haven't done the math. You haven't done. You haven't done. Uh, you haven't taken the time to truly look at that. And that's that's well, that's not, that's what that's why you hire us, right? Is to get to that. I mean, that's all I'm asking and all I ask when I reach out to people is like, just do the true analysis, okay? If it does, if it comes up short, I get it, okay? Um, you know, whether it's a three-year return versus a ten-year return versus a, a hundred-year return, okay? Yeah. Let's talk, but don't tell me that it's just worth this, okay? Because confusion is real. It just is truly real. Now, in this instance, I looked at it this morning. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call them out. I don't think it's fair, okay? But in this instance, it's like, ah, you got a problem. You got a massive, massive problem because, you know, especially today with sites. I mean, most sites look the same, okay? It's the same pattern, same process. You know, customer stories, right? Um, social proof, right? Have your little header, have your white paper, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's the same. It all blends in. It all blends in. You have to stand out. You have to create an effortless path. Uh, okay, that's it. Share this up if you found any value. Go to, over to my site, uh, Chris Zyker. Check out my, uh, my podcast and um, share it up.